friends, it's Miss Natalie. This week we're gonna read A Silly Snowy Day by Michael Coleman, pictures by Gwyneth Williamson. A Silly Snowy Day. Ho hum, yawned Mr. Tortoise. Winter is here. So it is, yawned Mrs. Tortoise. Come on, Shelly. It's time for bed. But I don't feel sleepy yet, said Shelly. Ridiculous, cried Mr. Tortoise. All tortoises go to sleep for the winter. Why, asked Shelly. Because it's cold outside and there's no food. But I don't want to go to sleep, said Shelly. I want to see what winter is like. Ridiculous, cried Mr. and Mrs. Tortoise together. Who ever heard of a tortoise outside in the winter? Soon, Mr. Tortoise began to snore. And not too long after that, Mrs. Tortoise began to snore. And not long after that, Shelly left her warm bed of leaves and out she went through a hole in the shed to see what winter was like. Outside the shed, Shelly blinked. There was snow and ice everywhere, even on the duck pond and the hill. As she lumbered along, a duck spotted her. A tortoise out in the winter, quacked the duck. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelly. Oh, no? Then let's see you break through the ice to get food like I can. Ha, quack, ha. He's right, thought Shelly. I can't do that. I don't have a beak. As Shelly began to walk up the hill, she met a dog. A tortoise out in the winter, barked the dog. It isn't, said Shelly, feeling a little cross. Oh no, then let's see you keep warm by running around like I can. Ha, woof, ha. He's right, thought Shelly sadly. I can't do that either. The dog ran off after a cat, but the cat climbed up a tree. She looked down at Shelly. A tortoise out in the winter, meowed the cat. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelly even more crossly. Oh, no? Then let's see you run into a nice warm house as quickly as I can. Ha, meow, ha. She's right, thought Shelly, shivering with cold. I can't run like a dog or a cat. I'm just too slow. The cat raced off into her house before the dog could catch her. And Shelly trudged towards the top of the hill where she met a bird. A tortoise out in the winter, cheeped the bird. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, snapped Shelly. Oh no, then let's see you fly home and cuddle up with your family like I can. Ha, cheap, ha. Of course I can't fly, thought Shelly. I can't even hop. Shelly felt cold and miserable. She remembered her warm, cozy bed and a tear trickled down her cheek. They're all right, she thought. A tortoise out in the winter is ridiculous. She was so sad she didn't notice the big patch of ice up ahead and she slipped on it. Shelly fell over backwards and began to slide down the hill. 
faster and faster she went. Faster than a dog could run, faster than a cat. Then suddenly she hit a bump and flew into the air like a bird. Whee! With a thud, Shelly landed on the icy duck pond and slid towards the hole in the shed. But it was all covered with ice. Ha, quack, ha! What did I say? cried the duck as she slid by him. Where's your beak to break the ice with? I don't have a beak, thought Shelly, but I do have... a shell! And tucking her head inside it, she broke through the ice into the shed and home. Hearing all the noise, Mrs. Tortoise woke up. You haven't been outside, have you, Shelly? She asked. A tortoise out in the winter, said Shelly, snuggling into bed. And before she could say, <coughs> she was fast asleep. The end. Bye.